right, and we are recording again, which is increasingly becoming my catchphrase for, uh, for these lessons. So now we're going to look at uh, defenses and how to defend, how to defend punches. And like I said previously, in 19th century boxing, head movement is a thing. You do have head movement. Um, you know, often like more, uh, more so, actually, I think I've probably seen, certainly in Major Elliot, he primarily uses head movement to uh, protect himself, to cover himself as he attacks. Um, but there is a much greater preference for defending with your arms, for powering with your arms, um, than there is for slipping blows. Um, which, if you're a modern type person who's interested in bare knuckle boxing, probably seems quite strange because, you know, intuitively in bare knuckle you want to slip. So I'm going to get um, my prop, the Spear of Destiny, to demonstrate this because a lot of the defences only, real, only really make sense if you can see the angle. So, right, so the first defence, defence off the front arm, all I do is I turn my hand over and I lift my elbow up so that the bottom of my elbow, this bit of my elbow here, is in line with my shot, with the top of my shoulder. So my, my forearm is just above my shoulder. Um, you're of course gonna to need to adjust the height of this. When I do this in bare knuckle, I do it down here because there's like three times in my life I've boxed some on my own height, which I find really weird because like nearly all of my, all of my former defensing was done against people who are either my height or taller, which just is kind of, yeah. I, I like to say I learned defense from giants. <laughs> Um, but all I do, uh, when you're all the same height as your opponent, you just want to lift up and basically be looking at them over um, over your um, forearm. Um, but you want to be just that much higher. You don't want to be doing this sort of thing, like the, the traditional kind of karate high section block kind of thing. Um, it's actually in front of you. And the reason for that is you it, from here, to do something with this arm, I have to bring it back down. Um, Drink down. Whereas from here, it's much, much easier to flick up and flick forward. Um, and this means that if I'm defending, you know, I can, you know, I can block and counter, or I can block and counter. And I've got a lot more options in terms of how I come back, which can throw my opponent. Um, and just to demonstrate the angle, I'm gonna get the Spear of Destiny and just see if I can rest on the window without breaking it. And you can see, you know, this is sitting, I mean, I can reasonably get this lower because the Spear of Destiny is, you know, from coming from an upwards angle. But you can see from here, I don't need to be, I don't need to be all the way up to stop it from hitting me. There's a straight line. If I intersect it here and it keeps going in a straight line, it's just gonna go flying over my head, which is what I want. So, the blocking motion is just that. Um, and it caught, you know, just a quick flick up. I like to think of it as just turning the fist over. So I just rotate my fist up. Um, the height, of course, will vary depending on the height of your opponent, but let's just practice it at slightly above shoulder height just to make sure that, you know, if we are for, you know, chances are we will, it's very unlikely to get someone who's gonna be able to punch over the top of that. So this will give you the maximum of coverage that you could possibly need. So, um, and I think these are, these are tech, the term block or parry gets used interchangeably depending on the source. So I'm just gonna call them parries. So, parry, 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 and parry. All right. So that's our front arm parry. Um, obviously this is primarily done to deal with the cross. Um, and you know, sometimes like one of the things, you know, um, you know, something that can be quite good as a tactic is you can, you know, you can move um, and try and even like bait the cross. You know, so, you know, look like you're gonna slip a jab to the inside. Start, you know, even start bad down a bit slip a jab to the inside or even cover. And as soon as your opponent goes, you can parry and strike down their face. So let's, let's actually look at that technique. So all I do is parry, 
then from here I whip my fist down you know it's if it comes in as a hammer fist or as like a back fist that's not too bad um, you know and it's certainly um, there are you know there are rules that like there were efforts to try and stop people from hitting with the back or the sides of the fist um, during the 19th century but yeah like this technique is just too good not to do not to use so parry jab parry jab parry jab parry jab parry jab parry jab and parry jab all right so now let's look at the defense on the other side defense against jab um i'm gonna to need to move spear of destiny to over here so hey check it out my opponent's taller all of a sudden all right so just resting it so from here exact same motion um your fist is at an angle, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm powering up at this angle, just because this is a lot quicker. You know, I think of this one as you're thrusting your elbow forward, elbow forward. Um, with this, so to see that, you know, and I'm creating a bit of an angle, it's probably sort of hard to see there, but I'm creating a bit of a, I'm creating a bit of an angle um, where my opponent isn't just going to dive off, you know, be driven upwards. They're also going to be driven outwards a little bit. Um, so, you know, see how it's rolling off? It's because this angle will deflect them this way a little, which is quite good because if your opponent throws a jab and gets deflected this way, they have to retract and come back to guard um, before, retract and come back to guard before they can throw the other hand. So this is kind of a good, this can, if you do it, if you, um, you do it right, like you, you land it well, can very much, can disrupt a combo. You know, so it might be like, I don't want to be throwing a jab across, maybe a jab, oh no, my hand's over here. Um, and that gives that tangle, the need to clear that tangle before they can throw the cross, gives you a split second of encounter. So from here, parry, parry. The body lean is not necessarily the sources, but it's a thing I like to do and I'm going to keep doing it because I think it's neat. Uh, whether or not you do it is up to you, but parry, 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 and parry. All right, so let's look at a counter we can do. And I'm a big fan of same side counters. Um, that's just me personally. Um, so I'm quite fond of parry and straight down. Um, and I even like with this one, I actually invert my fist. I throw from here, getting from here to here, can be a bit cumbersome. I like to throw with an inverted fist, uh, but still similar kind of leg move, you know, footwork or body leg work. Yes, you, know, you know, still that twist and lift. So still that movement that I use for throwing across. So um, parry counter, parry counter. 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 And parry counter. Right. Um, just to kind of expose my own weaknesses and be uncharacteristically modest. There's been a few times where, particularly in that one, I kind of brought my fist down rather than back. Generally with this, you want to kind of bring your fist back and then down. You bring your fist down like this. When your fist is sort of here, it's in no man's land. When it's here, it's, you've still got your forearm covering you um, until you're back and down in guard. Whereas here, your opponent can come over the top. And I realized I made that mistake a few times um you know like i'm not i don't pretend that i'm perfect or even particularly good but you know i figure like as long as i'm entertaining you're all going to enjoy watching me watching me screw up um all right cool so you know the important thing is that we have fun all right so that's um you know parries in a simple counter obviously you can there's a lot more you can do with that um 
but I just, I find that practicing that block same side counter is, you know, that's the sort of thing you want to get. Whereas blocking and throwing a punch from, you know, throwing a punch on the opposite side doesn't actually require very different mechanics to throwing the punch without having blocked or like carried prior. All right, cool. So are there any questions? Uh, that's looking like a no, so I'm just going to pause the recording.